This is Talk with Audrey. Welcome back. According to Edward Jones and Age Wave's latest study, The Four Pillars of New Retirement, what a difference a year makes. Following a year of unprecedented volatility across economic markets, physical and mental health and social justice issues, 76% of Americans credit the pandemic with helping them to refocus on what's most important in life. And joining me to discuss the results, Ken Sella, Principal Client Strategies Group for Edward Jones, and Dr. Ken Dykewald, retirement expert and co-founder and CEO of AgeWave. Welcome. Audrey, it's great to be with you today. Thank you both for joining me. Dr. Dykewald, you're a retirement expert. Tell us about the work you do at AgeWave. Uh, I started this company 36 years ago. We have worked with about half of the Fortune 500 and we've worked all over the world trying to map out how as a result of increasing longevity and the aging of the boomer generation, retirement as it was for our parents and grandparents is going the way of the past and a whole new model is emerging. Mr. Sella, when it comes to people and their retirement earnings and how they're gonna build that nest, this new study reveals Americans' attitudes uh, towards successful retirement. Why is it important to have that information at your fingertips when you're working with your clients? Audrey, it's uh, really a, a story of great change. Uh, in this study, we set out to, to really determine how people felt about what it means to live well in retirement and really to have this sense of well-being, which seems like what we're, we're all after, right? And, and so this study was far-reaching. Uh, we, we went into communities that we serve all across North America to really find out what's on people's minds. And what we learned is uh, a couple of things. One is uh, there are four pillars that really emerged. Uh, health, family, purpose, and then how finances underscore the ability to achieve close relationships with family. Uh, optimal physical uh, as, as well as emotional health and then ultimately a, a newfound sense of purpose when you enter into retirement. Uh, and that's, that's really uh, the focus of this study, both the non-financial and the financial aspects of retirement, so that people can feel understood, uh, informed about their choices, uh, in control about their future, and ultimately confident about their ability to retire. So Ken, what about those non-financial issues? What did you find were some of the most pressing issues and how people were feeling about them in general. Uh, sure, let me start us out on this one and, uh, and Dr. Dykwalt can jump in. Uh, one of the things that we found, we, we asked a question about what was most important to people in retirement. Um, it was uh, surprising what we heard. What we heard was the ability to spend time with their loved ones and with their friends. Um, and, and at the bottom of that list was the ability to be financially wealthy. Uh, so you can imagine that's, uh, that's an insight that we're paying a lot of attention to. Um, financial uh, security is important to people. Uh, they they want to make sure they have that. It's, it's their greatest fear that they're secure, but they don't need to be wealthy. They really want to have this sense of purpose. And, and there's, this, um, there's this other thread that really came through in the research where people uh, have this sense of freedom from and freedom to. So freedom from a job and the obligations of a busy day every day and freedom to the opportunity to pursue their dreams and really the things that they love and they want to uh, you know, really uh, connect to their ultimate purpose and how they want to live their life. Ken, we've got a lot of great insights here. Um, you want to bring a few more of those to life? Yeah, one of the most interesting observations, Audrey, that came out of the study, which we've never really seen before, is that 89% of retirees say, you know what? A life of pure kind of leisure and kickback and TV watching and going fishing isn't enough. They want to be more involved. They want to be more engaged. They want to find ways to give back to their community. And then we ask them how many hours a week. They say, ah, they don't want it full time, maybe three and a half hours a week. So we figure that out. That would add up to 238 billion hours of volunteer time that America could take advantage of to help in our school programs, to help in churches, to mediate family squabbles, to mentor young entrepreneurs. And so what we might see coming is this untapped force for social good coming out of our, our retired population who wants to be more involved, more active than any generation in the past. Dr. Dykewald, I also understand that between the sexes, men and women, that the pandemic impacted them differently. What did you hear from people that you spoke with when it came to long-lasting impact and perhaps something that might impact their ability to save for retirement? 
I'm glad you asked, Gorgi, because it's a serious and interesting issue. First of all, women are biologically superior to men. Uh, with regard to longevity, women live about five years longer than men. And since if a woman is partnered with a man, often it's a man a couple, three years older than her. And so she's going to wind, wind up caring for him. He may pass away. Then she's going to have five or 10 years on her own. And increasingly, women are becoming the holders of wealth in America. That's point one. The other point is that women are involved with supporting the family, with managing the kids, getting their schoolwork done, with helping their mom or in-law go through a long-term care crisis. And so women are getting pulled in and out of the workforce because of their other responsibilities. And that leaves them only about two thirds as much as men in terms of having saved for retirement. Also during COVID, male confidence dropped, but then rebounded. For women during COVID, their confidence dropped and stayed low. It's the lowest it's ever been. And so women are coming to grips with, they've got all these roles, they may have lost their job, they're caring for their family, and they're going to live longer in retirement than men will live. How do they plan properly to live a good and secure life with peace of mind in that longer life? And that's the kind of thing that companies like Edward Jones is now beginning to get their hands around. How do you create a more customized attunement to the women in the family to make sure that they feel heard and that they are doing the kind of planning they need going forward? Well, Mr. Sala, how do you do that? Um, as a financial planner, how do you help people save for their retirement and sort of help them also to mitigate all the things that could happen so that they could either catch up if something bad happens or just keep up? Well, it, it really starts with a uh, deep trusted and personal relationship. Uh, you know, there, there is no substitute for that. Uh, and, and what we find is that in those relationships that are the most trusted and, and the deepest, there's, there's a couple of things that emerged. One is, uh, it's really the advisor's ability uh, to ask good questions and really truly understand the goals, the financial goals and the non-financial goals that an individual has. Um, active listening is so important as our financial advisors work to understand what's most important to their clients. Um, but it doesn't stop there. Um, what they have to do next is then present a set of choices uh, so that uh, ultimately we're able to act in the client's best interest. We have to help them understand what those choices are uh, so that they can be in control of the decisions that they're making. Um, that's vital uh, for, for any financial advisor to make sure that the clients understand all those options and they're in control. And that's ultimately how a client can feel confident. Um, and one of the things we learned in this study is the greatest fear uh, that, that a retiree or, or and pre-retirees as well uh, have is running out of money. Um, you know, the exorbitant health care costs these days are, are on people's minds. And so a good financial advisor is key to that. Um, someone who can act as their guide um, and really help them navigate the complexities of uh, either thinking about retirement or living in retirement across all four pillars, health, family, purpose, and finance. So where can we get a copy of the report? Because it seems like we can all learn a lot about not just what other folks are thinking, but it can also help to understand our own anxieties to get and keep our financial plans in place for the future. www.edwardjones.com slash new retirement and it's sitting right there and it's yours to use in any way you might find beneficial all right bottom line uh, if you sit there and worry about it and don't do anything about it well you're creating another problem <laughs> let's get moving ken zella and ken dykewald thank you so much for joining me 